YouTube, it is your girl Kyla, and I'm back again with another freaking video. And today, you guys, as you see in the title, I'm going to be doing a highly requested video, y'all. I have been posting like my Kennesaw State room tour, the reasons why I left Augusta and came to Kennesaw State. And there's been so many questions circulating about like the application process, financial aid, housing at Kennesaw. So this video is basically going to help you guys figure out all the things you need to know when transferring to Kennesaw State. Just going to put a little disclaimer out there. See, I'm just telling you guys my specific details that I've learned through my process of transferring schools from Augusta University to Kennesaw State. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So I have a list in my notes of all the things that I want to cover. These have come from like different comments from different people or basically just things that I think that would be helpful for people who are considering coming here to know. So yeah, let's get into it. First off, y'all, I want to talk about the application process. So the application process and the admissions process for pretty much everyone that I've talked to has been fairly short. I applied in like mid-April of 2021 and I got admitted in like mid-May. I would have actually been admitted earlier, but I had to get my transcripts over to them and I was missing a few documents that they had to get before I could be admitted. So that was what kind of pushed me back a little bit. But I'd say it doesn't take longer than a month to know that you've been admitted. That's definitely a good thing. That's definitely a plus so that you can know for sure if you need to get on top of things. Take it from my personal experience. I personally do not recommend waiting to apply like late in the semester. If you're trying to be admitted in the fall, I definitely recommend trying to get on top of it beginning of the year like January or February because housing at Kennesaw is very very competitive and I'm gonna get into housing in a minute but for now the application itself is $40 so once you do that you just fill everything in you know say that you're gonna be applying for transfer admission or just regular freshman admission or however you're coming in they do have a GPA requirement it is a 2.5 which is you know they also do have specific high school requirements if you are trying to get admitted to Kennesaw like right out of high school and their website outlines all of this I'll put the link to their like admissions website in the description box because they have like a link where you can put all your personal information in and they'll send you like updates on deadlines and, and just information about coming to the university as a whole they have like different information sessions that you can do virtually or in person campus tours all that good stuff so they definitely can keep you updated so I definitely recommend signing up for that I'll put it in the description box as well as the admissions page so that you can see all the deadline requirements and everything that you need to know before coming to Kennesaw. A lot of people wanted me to talk about the ACT and SAT requirements as well. Kennesaw has an 18 minimum requirement for reading and an 18 minimum requirement for math as well for the ACT. For the SAT they have a 500 for the reading and a 490 for the math section. So the ACT is an 18 for both and the SAT has a minimum requirement of a combined 990 score. So once you apply they're going to ask you for specific documentation of taking the test and your high school transcript or your college transcript if you're transferring. I recommend uploading them as soon as you apply or as soon as possible. They will put your admission on hold if you don't have those documents in at the time that they're trying to see if you will be admitted or not. Um, you can also check the status of your application on their website. Like They keep you updated a lot. They send a lot of emails. They sent me an email and a letter in the mail saying that I got accepted and I still kept it because I was like I want to keep it for future reference. Now you guys I'm going to get into another important topic Topic, which is deadlines deadlines are super super important you guys make sure you stay on top of these and you know the deadlines for admission y'all don't miss out so they have kind of two different deadlines they have the freshman and transfer freshman deadlines and then they have like regular transfer deadlines so basically since the year has already started I can only go off of the dates that they have already set in place but this can kind of give you guys an idea of how long it takes when you can apply or when you should apply for the following year so for this semester in particular for spring 2022 for freshmen transfer freshmen and and transfer people in general. The application deadline was November 19th. Our spring semester started like the second week of January so you have to have that application in by November 19th and all your documents have to be in by December 3rd for classes to start on January 10th. So it may seem like a long time but it's really not because all your documents have to be in like a little over a month before classes start so you definitely want to get on top of that. I recommend doing it even before then because you do have to register for classes as well and y'all 
I learned this the hard way. This one may be a little more useful for you guys. The fall 2022 deadline, if you guys are trying to apply, I definitely recommend doing it ASAP get on top of it y'all they have a priority deadline and a final deadline so they have two different deadlines but i recommend trying to get in the priority one if possible so the priority deadline for kennesaw for fall 2022 is literally a year before the semester the priority deadline for fall 2022 y'all fall 2022 fall of this year ended november 1st 2021 so priority like if you really know that you're going to come to Kennesaw, you pretty much need to apply and have it in almost a year before. And I know a lot of people don't think that far ahead, so they do have a second deadline. Now, you guys, if you miss the priority deadline, it's not the end of the world. I promise you, you can still get good classes because nine times out of ten, not everyone is thinking about applying for a school a whole year before they're even trying to go to it. So there is a second deadline. And for fall 2022 admission for this year, the application deadline is June 1st of 2022. So you can see like it's like only two months before school starts. Definitely, like I said again you want to get it in before that so you have time to get housing and everything together don't wait till the last minute y'all if you don't remember anything else that I say in this video please do not wait till the last minute to apply if you are trying to come to Kennesaw because it will it will backfire so our classes start like second week of August so you definitely want to try and get everything worked out before then and still have time to enjoy your summer so yeah for transfer students however the application deadline for the fall is june 15th 2022 and the documents have to be in by june 30th so i definitely say the turnaround time is like three weeks um at the most if you get everything into them all the documents and stuff then it should be it could be before then one of my friends said that they applied in like late march and they got a decision by like mid-april so it can take two weeks i don't know it really depends on like how many applications that they get in how many applicants there are that semester and how quickly you get your documents into them Another thing I'm going to talk about is meal plans here at Kennesaw. We basically have like these little talent cards and I'm not going to show you guys like because mine because it has like all my information on it. But these are super, super important for like a lot of different things on campus. Like if you need to print something, if you want to eat on campus, if you like have an on campus job like I do, this is how I get into my job. But yeah, I didn't even mention y'all. That's where I'm at right now. I'm at my on campus job. If you want a job through Kennesaw, um, there are different resources to help you get a job. It's fairly easy. They're really good on your resume um showing that you work for a big university but that's besides the point y'all if y'all want me to talk about like my on-campus job and all that stuff i can make a separate video but yeah the talent cards are pretty much like your lifeline at school i know most universities have something similar to that so you probably are already used to it or if you're just now entering school you basically have like an id card that has like your identification number and how you like pay for different things on campus we upload something called kcash to it and that's how you like get your on-campus dining your printing your basic like purchases on campus and then you have like dining dollars itself and they have like different plans i think they range from like 75 dollars up to like a thousand or so and you can upload however much money you want on your dining dollars and you can use them at this place called the commons which is on campus that is like basically like the dining hall here on campus and they have pretty good food y'all i don't really eat there that much because i have an apartment and i cook a lot so i don't really have time to eat on campus if you are someone who lives on campus i believe a meal plan is like required I'm not sure I'll check it and I'll make sure so I won't be giving y'all the false information but meal plans are normally required when you live on campus and it's probably more convenient you probably want to do that anyways because the commons is not that far away from the on-campus student housing and y'all Kennesaw has a lot of on-campus housing but it goes quick so let me get into housing now let me just break it down to you guys I'm not trying to burst your bubble or anything like that if you get on top of it, you probably can get some on-campus housing. If you do it well enough ahead of time, I'm pretty sure you can. But not going to lie, you guys, majority of the people who go to this school live off campus in an apartment. Because Kennesaw is one of the most populated schools in Georgia, it's like top three. There are so many students that go here, they don't have enough housing for all of us on campus. Here at Kennesaw, I did have to sign a 12-month lease, which is a legally binding contract. Okay, all my camera literally just died in the middle of me talking, but you have to sign a 12 month lease to live off campus at Kennesaw. It's just, there's really no way around it. If you can't find housing on campus or if you've like missed the deadline or if there's already so many people trying to get on campus housing, then the chances of you having to live off campus are very high. Or you can commute. I don't know how close you live to Kennesaw State, but I for one didn't want to commute because I just didn't want that hassle. So 
If you guys want me to do a separate video going more in depth on the housing of Kennesaw, I can, but for now, I'm just gonna give you guys like the basic options that you have. So as of right now, there are seven off-campus apartments that students generally live in, and I'm gonna go through a list of them. I put them in my notes because there's a lot of them. So there's Indy, Sova, U Point, U Club, Copper Social, The Blake, the retreat and there's actually a new student housing apartment complex that's coming in the fall of 2022 and they're now leasing for that but i don't know what the name of it i just saw it on the internet and on instagram and stuff those are like the main ones i know i went through them pretty quickly but they all range rent wise between i think the cheapest is like maybe six in the high sixes and they can range up to like over a thousand so that's just a fair warning you guys where i stay i pay it's like close to 800 a month now i know you guys are probably thinking like how do you pay 800 dollars a month out of pocket because y'all it is out of pocket like there's no i'm not gonna say there's no like real assistance from the university the university does not pay for your housing off campus they just don't they can give you some resources to help you pay for it the university and the apartment complexes even though they work together they're still two separate companies at the end of the day and they're two separate entities so once you sign your 12 month lease you're obligated to pay that money every month to the apartment complex not to the university so you, you see what i'm saying you're paying the apartment complex you're not paying the university which is something that I wasn't necessarily familiar with because I used to have my housing at Augusta come out of my financial aid and I didn't really have like to pay out of pocket. But now it's like with this lease, I have to pay every month on the dot on a specific day, a specific amount. Like, yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys like specifically how I pay for my rent because this is a little like confidential, but I can tell you guys how other people have found ways to pay for their rent and why so many people on campus I feel like are able to do this option. Before I say this, don't feel stuck like you don't have any options. Trust me, at first I thought that $800 out of pocket, like I was not going to be able to do it. And I literally thought I was not going to be able to come to Kennesaw because I was not going to have housing or enough money to pay out of pocket every month that amount. But you guys, a lot of people, now this is a point that I can only speak to if you get financial aid. If you don't get financial aid, then you probably don't have this option as assistance, but I'm talking to the people who do. So with financial aid, obviously you guys know that you get refunds um, pretty much every semester. And depending on the amount of classes you're taking, if you're part-time or full-time or whatever, you are able to get a refund at a specific point after the semester has started. And a lot of people use those refunds to pay their rent. They save that money and they pay on their rent every month because the refund comes just straight into your checking account. So you can use that money on whatever. You can go ball out. You can do whatever. You can go on a shopping spree for all I care. But if you want to be responsible and if you want to have a place to live and a roof over your head, a lot of people, what they do is they save their money and they put it towards their rent for that semester. And normally you get two refunds per year, one in the fall semester and one in the spring. So you're able to use those refunds to pay for your rent. And that's what a lot of people do if they get a sufficient amount back. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to get a big enough refund to cover your rent for like the whole year. I'm not saying that. I'm not. Because I can't guarantee like how much you're going to get in comparison to other people or in comparison to me. But I'm just saying that is an option that a lot of people do. And it seems to work for them and it has for a while. So that's definitely an option. If you are someone who does get financial aid, then that probably is the option for you. But if you want to pay out of pocket, that's all well and good too. I know people who do both. And I also know people who stay on campus. Being on campus is also not completely out the window either. Like you can definitely try. The on-campus apartments are nice too. Um, They're just not the same as like living off campus. I'm an upperclassman anyway, so I didn't want to live on campus anymore i was just like this is kind of the perfect opportunity so that's why i went ahead and i did go on and stay off campus if y'all want to see what my room looks like if you want to see what the apartments look like um i actually have a video from when i was touring the apartments out in the kennesaw area i saved it y'all this was back like a while ago before i learned how to like vlog properly and stuff so please cut me some slack just pay attention to like the facilities and stuff and the different things that they have to offer and what they look like on the inside um i feel like that'll be pretty helpful so y'all can see like visually what they look like while you're going on a tour i toured i think it was the blake u club and sova I think those were the three options that I wanted to go with. The other ones, I'm sorry, I don't have pictures of. You guys can look on their website or you guys can schedule a tour and come up to Kennesaw and see them. But yeah, I will show you guys what they look like right now. So...
You kind of nice, I know. Look at this. I'm gonna go with her. Let me see. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys want me to elaborate on anything that I mentioned in this video, you guys can leave a comment down below. Or if there's enough questions that people feel like I didn't ask, I can do a separate video on like housing because I know housing is like a whole separate entity in itself. Like that's one of the main things about Kennesaw, like is their housing. So I definitely can do another video or I can do another tour. Like I'm out here now, so I can like physically go and show you guys like what they look like. If you guys wanna see like a tour of all the apartment complexes, I can try and do that as well. If you guys really want, I know actually being there is different than seeing it, but I can try, I can try and help where I can. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have not already, you already know what to do. You better like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope you guys enjoy these videos of me talking about Kennesaw. It my experience going here i like being able to help you guys give you guys information where you need it but yeah you guys thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace